today we're sitting in the blue dart in my backyard and um i think we're gonna try and get it going it's got 150,000 k's on the clock the passenger seat is sideways it's um sheepskin or whatever you call this stuff wool fucking bottom but with that looks fucking fancy as all right so there's no headlights on the car but here they are i don't know there's one of them yeah, there's a fucking ecu i think the guy said he got the manual ecu i don't know so i got the seats out well the one seat out look this looks like Three brand new belts. Hectic. Rocker cover. Gasket. Nice. Fucking brand new too. This guy's got some parts for it. The window wipers off. Do I have a headlight? So I just pop that center in. <laughs> just put it, sat it down, didn't actually bolt anything in. But like, look at that. Got the seat in. Front ends on. I've tried to ding out the guards, hit out the dings in the guards, but they they're all right. All right. So we've got a slave still on down there. Looks like it's got water in it, a bit rusty. I've taken off the clutch line to um put on the white R31. So to drive this, we need and the tail shaft. We need a tail shaft and we need a clutch line, the hydraulic line for it. So you see all this shit, that's gonna cause rust. So we're gonna get all this dirt out of the car. Some wasp is full terrorizing me right now. But I've taken off the crossover pipe. I'm gonna change the rocker cover gasket because I just found it and it's like pissing out. The other side's like drenched down. We got a wasp watching. Yeah, I should make quick work of this rocker cover gasket. And I'm gonna pay, take out the gearbox as well because like it's making a funny sound and the guy manual converted this but I don't know how well he's done it so we're gonna actually take the gearbox out to inspect how the guys put it together so all the bolts are off the rocker cover there's still the bracket that holds the throttle cable on So I'm not sure if we need to actually take that off or not. It's quite easy if we do. So you can get it off without taking off that bracket if you want to be a hero, but you're only fooling yourself, eh? And I had one of the fucking screws was still holding it in, eh, before. Oh, I actually can't do this one-handed. So this is looking like one nasty motor. It's got some head gasket jizz under the rocker cover. So there's water in here for some unknown reason. It's not very fucking good. Looks quite dirty. Looks almost like someone's come in here with a spray can and just sprayed it black. It's not meant to be black. So there's some unknown black substance in the top of the head bolts. It's chunky, gooey black sludge. Nasty. 
So this is the inside of the rocker cover. It's pretty fucking gross. So just clean up this part of the engine here so the gasket seals properly. Have the new gasket. So we've cleaned up in the gully. Pretty well. Might actually run a cloth back for all quickly. Put that in. Put the new gasket half in, just gonna slip it in. So the rock covers back on, I've like cleaned the degree the engine degrees it with the fucking blower and all that, sprayed it down. That looks quite clean there. So this 31 actually looks like a 31 now. Alright, so I'm not actually sure if this will start. I've gone and got the battery, this isn't even the right key. Oh yeah it is. So it's doing lock was on. Alright, pop the bonnet, see if it sparks, made a little bit of a sound, doesn't sound like the battery's got too much power in it. Yeah look at that beast, oh, oh, alright, well that's a toy car, so the clock works, the, bat the battery like powers the clock. Ah, right, we'll turn reds on. So the fuel pump. Alright, stop. Sound like the fuel pump's a fucking jet. Alright, let's see what happens. Hasn't been started in my um, six months, maybe seven months. We'll see what happens. Probably no fuel. Alright, that actually went heaps better than I thought. It actually turned over. Wait, this one works. It's telling me that the fucking door's open. And that we've got low fuel. And something about the stop and tell light. This brake master is like so good. It's like the best out of all the 31s. Alright, we'll try again. Oh my god. Turn it off. Back on. Seatbelt. It knows my seatbelt's off. I'm just going to turn that off. Alright, we're going to put fuel in it. Because I don't like it doing that, like, lugging it and, like, leaning out. It's not good for it. I'm going to get some fuel. Yeah, this one's so nice. It's got the fucking metal bracket bolted around it, like, with the rubber boot. So, I'm pretty sure this is off of auto. This, like, um... It's still got the factory stereo in it. So these R31s have built-in headphones, like from the old days. Maybe like, it's like a used condom in there or something. Fucking, so like, it's got like a fucking... Look at this, it's got a bolt to turn up the volume and shit. But that's like the old cassette player. Oh my... Bro, I'm gonna see if this fucking works. I'm gonna start playing cassettes. Is that a cassette in it? There's a cassette in it. How do I get this out? Delta Goodrum, Innocent Eyes. Uh, I have a fucking cassette. Ah, uh, so we just got the petrol. Put some fuel in it. So I've come upstairs to, I forgot the R31 case. So we're going to start it because you put new fuel, more fuel in it. I don't know how long it's fucking been here, but I've just like come up here. I'm like, what's this fucking weird roll at the door? And then like, yeah, this is the one I ordered. So me and Miles ordered more fucking sticker paper. So I've got this big roll of white sticker paper. Uh... Take it out of gear. Let's see. Off the clock on eight. Alright, so the fuel pump's primed. Our RPMs have already started the car by the looks of it. So maybe if it's saying that if we start it, it's gonna hit 8k. Ready? Oh, I'm 
to go again. Come on, baby. I'll prime the fuel pump again. If it does that, I'll take the key out. See if we can get the fuel pump to prime. Doesn't want to prime. Giving it some throttle, see what happens. Or oh, I just remembered I was spraying the whole engine with water yesterday, so maybe there's water in something. Now I have to look at these. Ah, uh, well the fuel in the line looks pretty feral. It's quite brown, stinky. Uh. So I'll take off the filter and drain that out as well and drain the return line. That's just the line from the end of the rail after the reg. So we'll drain the rail and shit.